hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today is another day yeah <laughs> miss you guys so um i i gave out this picture uh, behind the scene on how i shot this image and one of our faithful friends said that you do a retouch on this particular image and bring it out so today we are going to retouch this image and see how we are going to end up and i will not make it full i will make it um a little bit faster every step will be a little bit we'll do some an explanation then we move in a click. yeah so stay tuned and stay with us as we dive into it and don't forget to subscribe follow like and share let us hit 2k this year all right thank you let's move into it so in most of times whenever i do my retouch as i say all the time i always crop to the four by five so this image has already been cropped so the next step is to duplicate then remove your blemishes try as much as possible to keep the blemishes that you're going to remove clean so that it will not affect your frequency separation so let's get into it so i duplicate so let me choose use my healing try to heal it so make sure you you, you get a good cleanup I have done most of the healing now with this frontal which mostly our hairstylists try to give us difficulties in this a uh, photoshop has given us some tool which is going to help us remove this with ease right so what we are going to do is come here then go to our remove tool Yes, I'll remove two. Then what we are going to do, we are still going to circle it like this. Then make this one meet this point. It will make it calculations and remove it. Sometimes it will mess it up a little, but continuing doing it, it will make it good. Okay. So guys, I'm done removing those blemishes. Let me see if I can get something here to remove. I won't try to make it that perfect, but I think you understand how it's all going to be. Let's go into our frequency separation. As I said earlier, or oh, I've said before, you always have to understand your free frequency separation. I have a video on it, which I will show you. Um, I think the right or the left, either of them, try it, look at it. So, you get those understanding very well. So, frequency separation. I mostly zoom in to see if what I'm getting is what I want. Let me move to eight. Eight, no, ten. Okay. I think ten is good. Ten is good. 
I want a preferred thing. All right. So someone will ask, why do I choose that? Or why do I always have to move into the radius to find a number? I want to see the textures whilst it is being bled. The radius, the gas and blade radius is being bled, but I can still find some kind of textures in it. Yeah, so that's the business. You have more details in the video that I will show, I will show you. So try and go and watch that video. You find more understanding. So I'll duplicate my lower frequency and off my higher frequency. Then take my mixer brush, mixer brush. And there's a problem. I don't know whether it's from my side, but I had a friend also complaining about the same thing. Photoshop has this instead of here being an empty place, here being an empty place. It's, it's kind of colorful or something. It's, it's not a problem. It does not ca cause any havoc to your image. Don't try to do anything. Just work with it. It's going to work perfectly. So, get to understand that. Um, so, you increase your brush. Then you start to rub. All right. To rub. All right. So guys, I am done now. So I think I didn't do here. Guys, I'm done now. Let's preview it and see what we have done. So, this is the before, and this is the after. Before, after, before, after. That's a nice job. Yeah, good. So, I'm done with the frequency separation. What is next to me is to do my grading. And this with this kind of picture, is either I use my uh, dark skin tone feel to do it, or I can use my other grading that I have there to do it. So let's try the dark skin tone. It works mostly for chocolate those kind of in uh, pictures a chocolate skin um dark skin those melanin melanin skins it works with them nice so black and white let's move the opacity let's run let's say the opacity 10 let's say 15 yeah so before after before after nice let me do my normal dodging and burning i have a simple way of doing it when you create a new layer an empty layer you change your blending options to soft light then use the normal brush white will be the highlight the black will be the shadows you get it let's go but right, make sure your flow is at one else it will be too much so even with this you still have to sometimes um, reduce the opacity to make it nice for you Sometimes, if you want to let, know where to um, dodge and bend, you can off your frequency suppression and know where the highlight was and where the shadows was. Right? So, how to 
dodge here dodge here because with the frequency separation it sometimes turns off our highlights yeah let me bring this one here yeah Highlight here. Yeah. I mostly don't like this kind of shining. Shining, they put it on the models. It's kind of turn off the images and stuff. So I'm burning now. Burning now. Burn this side. Burn this side. Burn this side. Burn this side. Wherever you see the band that looks good, you burn it. But if it doesn't look good, leave it. Because the frequency pushing might have fixed that problem. So let's zoom out. Let's turn on the frequency pushing. So before, after, before. So it's too much. I move the opacity fifty. It is too much. Say forty. All right, forty is fine. Yeah, not that much. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Then, let's say. Um, level curves so the curves remove this one to this side right then bring this one to this side not that much I think there is okay yeah it pops the image a little bit then um, I'll recall my eye For my eye, so uh, the flow has to go to ten. Rush through to get the eye pop. So when you do your white uh, eye whitening, it pops the image even after uh, you've done your um, color grading and stuff. It pops the image out yeah so you see how it has popped the image from this not normal look to this it has even pop out the catch eye that you even see so finally this is my image and what i mostly do again is is to um sharpen my image a little bit so i'll i'll create my uh, stand visible layer as you have seen here then um command shift i command shift u yeah command shift u to create my black and white then i come to filter other high pass my radius is mostly at 1.5 all my images use the radius of 1.5 okay then i move from normal to soft light i'm done sharpening my image that is all i put my logo i export it done so what i do is i save it so this is the whole before of the image and this is the after before after let's check it out so here's the before here's the after of the image now there's a dramatic change thank you guys for watching hope to see you another time please kindly comment on what i should bring out i'll try as much as possible to bring out those videos i find it difficult in having time to do these videos but I always want to try my possible best to do something to help us, to help us, right? Yeah. Whilst I'm teaching, I'm also learning, right? So try and comment on 
things you want me to do uh don't give me hard <laughs> hard tutorials to do all right so uh, see you another time and don't forget again to subscribe like share and comment all right thank you guys peace out love you all